Welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today is our bi-weekly mock draft Monday. Uh, so every other week I've been doing a mock draft, and today, you know, this morning I did one, and I did two, actually. The first one I did with the common knowledge of um, forget those picks, as most people uh, talk about, and it came out pretty good. I ended up getting, I got Kayvon Thibodeau at eight and got some other guys with some other needs, but I'm not a F those picks type of guy. So um, the real mock draft is here, <laughs> and we're going to go through it right now. All right, so obviously I stayed at pick 14, and... The way that board went, it was crazy. It, in fact, let me see if I can show you. I'm not gonna do this for every pick, but obviously Hutchins went first, Malik Willis second, Evan Neal third, um, Akim Okwandu went fourth. So now I'm thinking, like, there's no way I'm gonna get a tackle. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else, um, maybe a cornerback or, or something like that. Maybe Sauce going to maybe Stingley. And um, at this point, you know, I'm just trying to wrap my head around what I'm going to do. So, Trayvon Walker goes at five. Thibodeau goes at six. Kyle Hamilton goes at seven. Um, get to eight and get the left Falcons take Garrett Wilson. So, now I'm thinking, I got a chance to do this. So, so let me try to, you know, I'm not, I don't really want to trade these picks. But let me, um, you know, try to, try to get up here. And by the time I could press the trade button, it had got to 14. And I just knew Seattle was going to take Charles Cross because they always have uh, O-line issues, but they didn't. They didn't. Seattle didn't take Charles Cross. And um, the Jets took Jermaine Johnson. Washington took a receiver, Drake London. The Vikings took Stingley. And then the Texans took Andrew Booth. And so I'm sitting here like, wow. I still got... A chance to get cross and I did so I picked Charles Cross with the first one with the first pick uh, uh crazy that it felt like that I would love for the real draft to fall like that but I doubt it do but Charles Cross fell to us at 14 and so that was my first pick Charles Cross so then I uh, kept pick 45 picked up Jamari Slayer because now I want to build that wall around my QB and uh, so now I got a tackle. I got an interior lineman slayer who actually played tackle at Georgia. So he can, I think he can play all the positions on the line. And uh, Cross can be either a starter or a swing guy. You know, depends on how uh, Stanley heals or is healing or whatnot. And depends on how good um, Moses plays because we just, you know, it's a crapshoot. We don't, we don't know. All right. So I got, you know, when you sign into this, other teams can, like, try to trade with you. And so this is the trade I got. Phone rung and I took it. I traded with San Francisco. I got back in the second round, pick 61. I gave up um, round three pick at 76 and gave up 196 in the sixth round. So we got John Meachie. He was Alabama's best receiver. The kid that used to always do that. He was their best receiver before he got hurt. Uh, I think he's back on track. Um, not, I think he's going to do – no, Sting going to do something at the pro day. I'm not sure if Michi's going to do something at the pro day. But Stingley's pro day is Wednesday. I don't remember what they said about Michi. But Michi was Alabama's best receiver and one of the better receivers um, in college football last year. So, again, giving – building a wall for Lamar, giving him another weapon. Drop down to pick 100 and, we, you know, start to work on the defense a little bit. Try to replace some of those older guys. I took uh, for Hadrian Mathis, the interior D-lineman from uh, Alabama. Can get in there and play some some zero, some one, and some three technique for us. Uh, big body, a uh, lot of college experience, a uh, lot of big time experience playing in big time games, and y'all know Alabama put put out pretty good trench players. So uh, for Adrian Mathis is our pick at pick one hundred. Moving on, um, obviously with the news of um, uh, tall corner. His, his name slips my mind that we just lost. Westry. Westry signing with the Panthers. We really probably going to need two corners in this draft. And so I picked up Martin Emerson, 6'2 corner from Mississippi State. Uh, SEC guy. And y'all know I have an SEC bias. But uh, play some good football from Mississippi State. And I think he can come in and be a, 
of, you know, my backup guy folks. Rotational piece. Going down to pick 119. So we had 100. 10 picks later, we had 110. 9 picks later, we had 119. And I picked up Jelani Woods. Uh, if y'all saw my video, y'all kind of know my infatuation with Jelani Woods and um, the tight end from Maryland. But I had the choice of either one of those at that time, and I picked Jelani Woods because he can put the ball down the field. And we know Lamar is kind of tired of the check down routes. He want to go down the field with the ball and open the offense up. So I think Woods gives us more of an option to do that alongside with uh, Mark Andrews. And especially if we want to get into those three tight end sets, I think Jelani Woods would, would fit. But if we do the three tight end sets a lot, Woods or um, – uh, I don't want to mess his name up. Tight end for Maryland would be a valuable asset to us. All right, 128. So you got 100. 10 picks later, you got 110. 9 picks later, you got um, 119. 8 picks later, I'm sorry, 9 more picks later, you got Kobe Bryant. That's the second corner I picked up. Uh, played opposite of Sauce Garner. A fairly decent corner. Uh, helped with Cincinnati. With Sauce Garner, Kobe Bryant, and Sanders, those were the three guys that kind of made that defense go in Cincinnati. So, you know, you got your two corners to try to help build up that, that cornerback room, especially you got some young guys too. Next, I went with Isaiah Thomas. Not the Hooper, Isaiah Thomas. Edge from Oklahoma. Um, need an edge guy to go along with the interior D-line because we don't really know where our edge guy is at. We got pressure daddy. We got a guy, uh, Tyus, coming off of surgery. Um, we got Oway. Um... I may have other guys. I just can't think of them right now. But edge is a need for us. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it in a draft or, you know, maybe pick up somebody else. But edge and interior D-line, we both, you know, fill those roles with this pick right here. All right. Moving on. 141, which is two picks later. I got Mike Rose. And let me tell you why I picked Mike Rose. I think Malik can be the mic for us, which will allow Pat Queen to run around and do the things he do. But picking Mike Rose here for me puts Malik on notice. And if you don't get your stuff together, we got a young cat that may potentially steal your reps. And then we always have an older linebacker to come in and maybe, you know, if they can't get it done, we'll plug and play our older cat in there. But this pick right here to me is a notice to Malik. Get your stuff together or you might be gone. Or you may not play the lot. You may be, you know, strictly special teams. And then Rose can obviously come in and play special teams for us. Punt, punt, return, kickoff, kickoff, return. Things like that. All right. And that was it because I traded the sixth pick away. So, recap. Uh, Charles Cross at 14. Jamari Slayer at 45. Traded back into the second round. and got John Michi at 61. Um, Fahadrian Mathis at 100. Martin Emerson at 110. Uh, Jelani Woods at 119, Kobe Bryant at 128, and Isaiah Thomas at 139, and Mike Rose at 141. So you got one, two, three, four, five. You got six picks from 100 to 141, which is not bad. I think you feel some roles, and you got some guys that's going to, you know, pretty much play. I'm going to say the only people on here that probably won't start, depending on what happened with Stanley, it's cross. And Slayer could probably come in and take a position, um, possibly. Uh, Michi, depending on how he his recovery, we don't know. Mathis would definitely be in the rotation with Matter BK and, and, and all those other guys. Uh, Emerson would definitely be in the rotation because we only really got two corners. But we got three, but the third guy is, you know, I don't want to talk about the third guy. You got Emerson and Kobe Bryant is probably going to come in and play some rotational snaps ASAP. And then we know Wood is going to play because Roman loves the three tight end set. Uh, edge guy, he may not play depending on what it is. And then Mike Rose. Both of these guys probably be special teamers if they make the team. And Rose probably could make the team just for the, the reason I said. Because coaches think like that. I need to light a fire upon this guy bring in somebody new. But um, that's the mock draft Monday, the bi-weekly mock draft Monday, the sip the tally bi-weekly bi mock draft Monday. The next one will be on the 18th maybe. What's the day? The 4th? 18th, yeah, April 18th. So that'll be the next one. That'll probably be the last one because the draft will be soon thereafter. Um, hey, man, I appreciate you guys being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, see y'all soon. Make sure you tune in for the live film study of uh, who I got. 
Who I got? Who I'm doing? This? In my notes. Rasheed Walker, Penn State. Rasheed Walker, Penn State. That's what we got at 8 o'clock tonight. Make sure you guys tune in. Peace. We'll be right back.